paying less at the pump. It's putting more cash in your wallet. But new at 530, some economists say lower gas prices might not be a good thing for everyone. WSBT 22's Danielle Kennedy is at the live desk tonight. And Danielle, what's the downside of this? There's no direct downside for us here in Indiana, Rick, because Indiana isn't a major energy producer. But in other parts of the country, energy production is a big part of the economy. These falling prices could lead to cutbacks in jobs. These days at the pump, the numbers are low, but spirits are high. We used to be paying like 40 or $50 to fill up the tank, and now like we only pay like close to $20 to fill up our tanks. I can't imagine it'll last forever. I think it's kind of nice right now. Right now, the average price in South Bend is $1.65 a gallon. Good news for people like John Morelli. I'm actually in the automobile business, so we're seeing a lot of people who like the bigger trucks and the SUVs and so forth. So for those folks, it's been a real boom. I love them because my husband's in a nursing home in Wakarusa, so I drive a lot. I would say probably I am saving about $20. Savings that come with a price. The current problem that we have with oil prices is due to uh, a very sharp reduction in economic activity in the rest of the world. Notre Dame economics professor Thomas Gresick says we're starting to see a major slowdown in developing countries like China and India. We're starting to see um, worldwide reductions in investment by uh, energy producing com companies and that translates into fewer jobs. When prices move there's always winners and losers. And Gresick says the one thing you can count on is that gas prices will go back up. In the meantime, he recommends people use that extra money to pay down debt and make investments in things like your home or your child's education. At the Live Desk, Danielle Kennedy, WSBT 22 News.